right, so this one's going, recording like it's supposed to. Let's make sure everything is working like it's supposed to. Uh, what is that? Lint. So, well, the manufacturing paradox. That's how this one's titled right here on Fizz Scenarios, right? Based off the Daily Drudge, you guys know, every time I repeat that on this playlist, just in case... I am not doing my job. All right. So, all right. So what Peter Drucker says on this one, he goes, how do you get far more output with far fewer workers? Right. So it's like, it's one of those riddle me this type conversations. Riddle me this, riddle me that. All right. So he says the most believable forecast for 2020 suggests he says 2020. Now we're in 2023 dating this video um so that kind of takes the timelessness away from this particular video but he says suggest that manufacturing output in the developed countries will at least double well, i'm pretty sure it did more than that while manufacturing employment will shrink to 10 to 12 percent of the total workforce i don't doubt that either because if you look at technology today and where it has gone then you would know that with the innovation of automated processes, 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 right? So assembly lines, things like that, even artificial intelligence right now, a lot of jobs have just been replaced. It doesn't mean that you lose all the human beings that are working in the workforce, but you do come down to a percentage. You still need those that are going to do the maintenance on those types of items that are being run automatically, right? Through some sort of AI process. Right. OK, so <laughs> he says what has changed manufacturing and sharply pushed up productivity are new concepts such as lean manufacturing, lean. Right. It's kind of what I just explained. Information and automation are less important than new theories of manufacturing, which are of advance comparable to the arrival of mass production. 80 years ago. Yes, of course. We're going to go that far back. The decline in manufacturing as a creator of wealth and jobs will inevitably bring about a new product. Once again, echoing what happened earlier in agriculture. So, sorry, I'm like, I'm like reading ahead as I'm looking. Um, uh, I hit a, a, a big word that stumped me, but then I started reading ahead and I'm like, where are we getting to here? All right. So one thing that Peter Drucker likes to do is when he, he'll, he'll reflect where we came from. So what he's talking about is the leaps forward that we have done with technology and innovation and it's a prime example, the company Lamborghini, I mean, come on, that was a lawn mowing company. They made like, they made these agricultural machinery type stuff and dude decided you know i don't know the true the, the whole story but he decided to make a car at the end of the day right now look at it right so all i'm saying is is innovative thinking innovative just being innovative moving forward think about that with manufacturing and productivity i mean now with manufacturing companies we're getting products from all these different countries that specialize in different things taking all that and assembling it in another country and then selling this finished product right and all these things cost comes down as a result things like that it's just it's a great way of doing business it's a great way of helping lift everyone up and then at the same time right you have this innovative new concept that no one has thought of that just moved forward right it's just great stuff man i love it right i'm having this conversation with you because i love it he goes fewer the fewer farm voters that there are the more important the farm vote has become because I'm circling back to what he's talking about with farming. As numbers have shrunk, farmers have become a unified special interest group that carries dis uh, disproportionate clout in rich countries. All right. So I can say that here in the U.S., you've had some conglomerates that have combined and bought up a lot of farming land for obvious reasons. Right. So you just you got to know how to play the game. You got to be able to move ahead. Right. And watch and see what things are changing. Here's the action point that he says. He goes, determine the rate of growth and output per person in your manufacturing or operation functions. Is your organization experiencing the manufacturing paradox? Recommend pro programs for retaining excess manufacturing workers slimming down. Right. What's the term he used? Lean manufacturing. 
there you have it, man. That's just business.